Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'll be conducting a live CPU throttle test for all of my mobile devices. We'll be using CPU throttling app in order to conduct this test using its default settings on all of the Android phones. These are the settings. Starting from top left, we have POCO F5 that comes with Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 processor. I'll measure the idle temperature 30.3 degrees Celsius. Then we have Rock Phone 5S in the top middle Snapdragon Triplet Plus processor. Idle temperature is around 31 degrees Celsius. In the top right corner we have Mi 11X that comes with Snapdragon 870 processor. In some regions this phone is also known as Poco F3. Idle temperature is around 30 degrees Celsius. Then in the bottom left corner we have I forgot the name of this phone Poco X3 Pro. My bad. Snapdragon 860 processor. Idle temperature is around 30.3 degrees Celsius. In the bottom middle, we have Realme 9 5G SE. This phone comes with Snapdragon 778G processor. Idle temperature is around 30.6 degrees Celsius. And in the bottom right corner, we have Redmi Note 9 Pro. Comes with Snapdragon 720G processor. Idle temperature is around 29.5 degrees Celsius. For all of my Xiaomi phones, I have added the application to game speed turbo mode, performance mode enabled from battery settings on my ROG Phone 5S. I have enabled the X mode. On my Realme phone, I have enabled the performance mode from the battery settings. All of the phones are set to aeroplane mode. No app is running in the background. So let's start with the testing. Alright, we are halfway through. I am observing an uneven graph on POCO F5. Signs of throttling on ROG Phone 5S. Graph is looking stable on rest of the devices. Alright, we are done. I'll stop the test. For the purpose of this test, I had switched on the AC. Temperature was set at 24 degrees Celsius. So let's check out the results. First we have Redmi Note 9 Pro, Snapdragon 720G processor. No CPU thermal throttling was detected. The average score was around 166,000 GIPS. Not bad. Next we have Snapdragon 778G processor. No CPU thermal throttling detected on Realme phone. Average performance is quite good. Score was around 220,000 GIPS. It's way higher than Snapdragon 720G processor. Then we have POCO XC Pro on the left side. CPU throttled to around 93% of its max performance. Average score was around 171,000 GIPS. It's way less as compared to Snapdragon 778G processor. Then we have Mi 11X Snapdragon 870 processor, CPU throttle to around 95% of its max performance. Average score was around 251,000 GIPS, not bad at all, respectable performance. On the left side I have ROG Phone 5S Snapdragon 888 Plus processor and you can see CPU throttle to around 80% of its max performance. Average score was around 230,000 GIPS, it's considerably less as compared to Mi 11X. Even the minimum score of ROG Phone 5S is less than the minimum score of Mi 11X. This is disappointing. And let me just show you the score for POCO F5. It's an uneven graph. CPU throttled to around 90% of its max performance. By looking at the graph, it seems this is software-induced throttling. 
एवरेज स्कोर वॉज ओवर थ्री हंड्रेड थाउजेंड जी आई पी एस थ्री हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड जी आई पी एस मिनिमम स्कोर वॉज अराउंड टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी नाइन थाउजेंड जी आई पी एस लुक एट दैट मैक्सिम स्कोर थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड जी आई पी एस लेट मी जस्ट कंपेयर इट विद द स्कोर ऑफ मी इलेवन एक्स सो द मिनिमम स्कोर ऑफ पोको एफ फाइव वॉज हायर देन द मैक्सिमम स्कोर ऑफ मी इलेवन एक्स दिस इज जस्ट अमेजिंग सो इवन अ थ्रॉटल पोको एफ फाइव विल हैव परफॉर्मेंस बेटर देन अ मी इलेवन एक्स रनिंग एट इट्स पीक एंड दिस इज रॉक फोन फाइव एस अगेन द मिनिमम स्कोर ऑफ पोको एफ फाइव वॉज हायर देन द मैक्सिमम स्कोर ऑफ रॉक फोन फाइव एस सेफ टू से दैट पोको एफ फाइव इज अ परफॉर्मेंस पीस आई लेन द वीडियो है गैस आई होप यू फॉन्ड इट यूजफुल थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एन हैव अ नाइस डे